There's no question that some of the most mysterious places lie at the bottom of the ocean. The ocean itself can be a daunting place just looking at it. It's a huge body of water that no one has fully explored. When you think that you've covered every inch, there's always more to cover. She hasn't been seen in over a hundred years. This is the endurance. Right now, there are hundreds of both that are down at the bottom of the ocean floor. There are millions of organisms that haven't been discovered yet, and who knows what treasure is laying down there. It's not for us to go exploring, it's left for the deep sea divers to do that. And today, we're going to bring you 15 of the strangest things discovered by deep sea divers. <laughs> Number 15. Mysterious Skeleton Over the years, there have been countless stories of the Mafia dumping bodies beneath the water. Some just call it a dumping ground, so it's no surprise when someone might find a skeleton down there. Because after all, it takes a long time for a skeleton to disintegrate. You're more likely to find that than anything else. But it doesn't just have to be the Mafia dumping bodies in water. Sometimes it just happens out of the blue. And then sometimes there's a mysterious reason behind it. That's what we're getting at with our next one, where we go over a mysterious skeleton. We may just have to throw a dog bone on this one because we're stumped. The skeleton in question seems to belong to a huge monster. A huge monster of all things. And it was all found by one diver. No one quite knows what the creature's bones match. It sparked an underwater mystery as researchers try to scramble to identify what this massive skeleton belongs to. The footage was taken back in 2017 by a remotely operated vehicle about 830 meters below sea level. What the footage captures is a set of bones along with an intact spinal column. It all measures about 30 meters in length. There's some debate on what the creature could be from an oarfish to a different type of fish. The only problem is that none of the bones match anything that we know about. Right now, a lot of research says it's either an oarfish or a whale. Only time will tell with the true identity of this mysterious creature. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. It's that season again, the season where everyone gets a little spooky, because Halloween is right around the corner, and with that comes some spooky outfits and spooky movies. Don't be surprised if you see them all over your social media, because now's the time when Halloween costume stores pop up and everyone gets ready to go trick-or-treating. But what happens when you find one of these outfits in the wrong place? Sometimes you find a creepy Jason mask underwater. Or maybe that's just this group of divers, because one diver captures what no one was supposed to see. As you can tell in this photo, we have a man wearing a Jason mask underwater. Is this the real Jason? We always thought it was a movie. Maybe there's something more to it. The origin of this photo is unknown, and because of that, no one can reach whoever took it. There are far more questions than answers, like why are there two divers behind Jason? It's a real person, or is it some sort of statue? Needless to say, there's a lot to unpack here, and we may never know. But they say that the picture says a thousand words. So, let us know what you think is down below in the comments with the hashtag open discussion and let your voice be heard. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Giant Jellyfish Now it's about time that we move on to something that kind of belongs underwater and is so out there in terms of category. We all expect fish to be down there, maybe not human skeletons, but even if you expect fish, there are still certain variations of them that will leave you scratching your head and amazed at just how much is unknown in the oceans. Take for example this next one. It's a giant jellyfish. Yeah, if jellyfish weren't already creatures that these people are a little divided on, whether they like them or not, this one on our list is extra big and you probably won't forget it once you see it. Take a look for yourself. It's a one and a half meter jellyfish that would be spotted off the coast of Cornwall. The diver stayed close to this giant animal for about an hour before it swam away. It's not just any type of giant jellyfish, it's a barrel jellyfish. One biologist said they've never seen one that big. A lot of regular side jellyfish are found in British coastal waters and they flock through the Atlantic Ocean towards warm coastal waters each year. You can usually find them washed up on shore in May and June. But this is one of the biggest that's ever done that. We can't help but wonder if there'll ever be a bigger one that turns up. 
The reason that it's swimming away is because its stinger isn't that powerful. That still doesn't take away from just how big it is. Number 13. Killer Blob Remember how we were talking about Halloween, scary movies, and everything in between? Well, this next one seems a little bit like it would be out of a horror movie itself. It's going to sound downright fake once we mention it, and that's because it's a killer blob. As we said, you never quite know what you're going to find down in the ocean. And this is a testament to that. You're not going to find a killer blob anywhere other than down beneath the water. But let us explain. If there was ever a time we needed to explain something, this would be it. It's unsightly and you wouldn't even think it was a living thing if you looked at it. With this grayish color and spine-like body, these creatures can be found in the Indo-West Pacific. They can grow to over 120 meters in length. What makes them unique, they can feed differently than most organisms. They have no radular teeth but have developed the oral veil into a large veil or kind of like a fishnet. What gives it the appearance in the front? It's great for catching a small crab or a crustacean and they're able to quickly trap their prey and then ingest them. It's a frightening creature to come across, but hopefully you won't be seeing a lot because they only live in the deepest part of the water. That's where killer blobs belong anyway. Unnecessary Roughness Number 12. Underwater Poker So we've covered spooky things, we've gone over giant jellyfish, and we're about to get even more unbelievable. There are some things in life you just don't expect to see underwater. For example, if we mention something in everyday life like grocery shopping, you probably wouldn't imagine it under the sea. That's a land type of thing. People only do that on the surface. One other thing that people only do on the surface is play cards. Because, after all, cards are paper and you wouldn't be able to play them in the water. But you know how our lists go, so we're going to have to debunk that notion as well. Because it's time to talk about some underwater poker. We hope that your poker face is ready for this one, because it's going to blow your mind. It's an event that's put on by a charity, and what it takes is scuba gear and a bit of fondness for fish. Because the players are all sitting at a poker table underwater, one of them is even dressed like a mermaid. This all originated via a tournament where the final game would take place on the water, then and it went off without a hitch. Now, if you want to attend an event like this, you're going to need a dive certificate if you reach the final table. You just have to hope there are no sharks around. Who would have thought that you'd have to worry about sharks while playing poker? Number 11. Crusader Sword What would be a list of things about the water without some weaponry? Throughout the centuries, there have been plenty of wars. Where there are people, there's been fighting. And just like some fields in Normandy where you can see remnants of war, there are plenty of areas in the world mainly the oceans, that have a lot of leftover arsenal. In addition to that, you'll find other types of weapons that have different origins beneath the waters. One of those weapons happens to be a sword, more specifically, a crusader sword. This is where our list gets a little mystical, because who doesn't like talking about old sword discoveries? By the end, you may want to take up arms yourselves and storm a castle. But hold on, let us talk about this sword first. It happens to be 900 years old and it was found off Israel's coast. This four foot long weapon was encrusted in marine organisms, but other than that, it's in perfect condition. So who discovered such a beautiful sword? It was a man diving off the coast of northern Israel. He wants it too far from his home. He wasn't too far from his home when he recently stumbled onto the 900 year old sword. It would date back to the Crusades. He also found some other century old artifacts while hanging around the area but we think that the sword was the coolest find. Number 10. The Enigma Machine The world is ripe with fascinating pieces of equipment that have been discovered throughout history. To this day, there have been devices used by old civilizations that have left researchers stumped as to what they were used for and how they were created in the first place. And if that's a testament to anything, it's of the sheer ingenuity of humans themselves. History shows us that you don't need a whole lot of fancy tech to create machines that leave people inspired. A place like Stonehenge or the Great Pyramids is a testament to all that. That brings us to our next discovery. Because if there's anything that have left people scratching their heads, it's this Enigma machine. Is a German museum that's set to restore this Enigma machine which was found on a seabed. The German divers who fished the Enigma encryption machine out of the Baltic Sea have now handed over their rare find to a museum where it's going to be restored. This coding machine was first used by Nazis to send coded messages during the Second World War. 
Sometimes the people who use historic things aren't that great, but the finds themselves are pretty darn interesting. Number 9. Seal Heart Rates Not all discoveries, as amazing as they may be, have to be in the physical realm of things. For example, we've covered a lot of physical discoveries on this list so far, things that you can reach out and touch, but not all discoveries come alike and in the same category when it comes to all things underwater. Nope, instead, there can be discoveries that have to do with the anatomical side of things, and in this case, we're not talking about humans. We're talking about seals, because in one under the sea discovery, a lot has been learned about seal heart rates. This one will surely get your blood pressure going. No, it's not so much that we've learned about seal heart rate specifically, but we've learned that free divers can drop as low as 11 beats per minute, which are lower than those found in seals. It's all about brain oxygen, and when you're the world's best free diver, you can bring yours down lower than a seal. That's pretty impressive. We don't suggest letting your oxygen level go that low. Take some diving lessons first. Number 8. Deep Sea Lab with there being so many discoveries underwater, it's safe to say that humans enjoy spending as much time underwater as possible because you never know what you're going to find. It's a whole different world down there, which is probably why there have been so many Hollywood movies based underwater with mythical creatures like Aquaman and The Little Mermaid. Needless to say, there's a big fascination with the sea world, which is why it's understandable why there might be a lab down there to do some research. Why stay on land and research the underwater world when you could be doing it there with fish? So, what type of lab are we talking about? The lab is called Aquarius and it's the only undersea laboratory in the entire world. It's owned by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Abbreviated, it's the NOAA. This special laboratory hosts more than 200 scientists that represent more than 90 organizations. That sounds like quite the party and the lab boasts discoveries related to the damaging effects of ultraviolet light on coral reefs, geological studies, and so much more. But we wouldn't expect anything less from an underwater lab like that one. Number 7. Rocket Engines Just as things get lost in the ocean from crashes and wars, there's a plethora of other items underwater that are just waiting to be discovered. If we've learned anything from discoveries like the Titanic and long-lost airplanes, there's nothing too big or too extraordinary to be lost down there as the world's oceans are vast areas that give off the illusion of having unlimited space. This is, again, why Hollywood movies use the oceans as the settings for their fictional worlds. There's just so much space to get lost down there. But movies and boats aren't the only things going on in the deep blue sea because recently one big discovery led to rocket engines. Here's to hoping there are no supervillains down there planning anything sinister. The rocket engines that have been discovered are said to belong to Apollo 11. This comes from the Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. He brought up the sunken treasure in the Atlantic and found components of two F-1 rocket engines. Apollo 11 was the first mission that took USS astronauts to the moon. It's usually Amazon that's dropping off the packages, but this time they made the cool find. Number 6. Gnome Graves Everything on this list so far has been pretty mind-blowing. May I have never expected the things that have been found underwater, but they're believable. You can imagine them when we explain them. But then there are other times where things are being discovered that are a little bit too eerie. Eerie might not even be a strong enough word because gnomes are on a whole different level. That's because our next discovery happens to be gnome graves. We didn't even know that gnomes died, let alone had burial sites on the water. We'll have to explain this one a bit further. These underwater garden gnomes were found hidden in the lake district of the Wash Waters in Cumbria. For whatever reason, their garden gnomes in the body of water and back in the day, police divers removed them because they were worried that they were luring inexperienced divers to their location. But now they're back and you can find them in the deepest lake at nearly 80 meters below water. It's been the home of these gnomes for years and it seems to be staying that way. Number 5. School Bus Now and then, it's not just a plane crash or a car that you find underwater in terms of vehicles. Sometimes there are other vehicles that get lost down there as well, like this school bus that wound up on this list. It's not a pleasant sight to see a school bus in bad shape because you tend to associate the bus with children. Now imagine seeing a school bus underwater. It's not a cool thing to think about, but that just happens to be this next discovery. Before getting into this, we do hope that all the kids got off the bus before it sank, but let's find out why this bus was found where it was. 
It was found in Illinois in a quarry that not only has a school bus down there, but also several vehicles, which has not become a strange attraction for divers to go check out. It's called Mermat Springs. Not only does it have a school bus down there, but it also has a motorcycle, an ambulance, and even a semi-trailer. It can be quite the sight to the uninitiated, but cool no matter what. Number 4. Skeleton Tea Party If you thought that our list couldn't get any creepier, think again, because we move on to something called the Skeleton Tea Party. And here we were thinking that the gnomes weren't going to be the creepiest things on today's list. We were completely wrong. So why are these skeletons having a tea party on the water? We kind of wish that we didn't have to ask, but let's find out anyway. And hey, maybe we'll even get invited. It was a man who was diving in the U.S. River who came across two skeletons in what looked like a scene from an underwater tea party. One of the skeletons was wearing sunglasses and sitting while facing another skeleton. They were sitting in deck chairs. This was all found 40 feet underwater in the Colorado River near the Arizona and California border. So the truth of the matter is that the skeletons were fake and were all for a film shoot. Now that's one spooky tea party. Number 3 plane crash. Now we move on to one that's probably not as surprising, because after all, when you think about what might be at the bottom of the ocean, the first thing that usually comes to mind aside from fish and maybe lost treasure happens to be plane crashes. There's no official statistic, but plane crashes might be tied with how many boats are lying down at the bottom of the ocean. And that's because planes fly over bodies of water daily. It's almost unavoidable unless you're flying domestically so it's no surprise that there are plenty of airplanes down there. But there's something a little extra about this one plane crash that happened. This all comes from some haunting photos that show the underwater wreckage of a Boeing cargo plane that had made an emergency landing right off the coast of Hawaii because of engine trouble. The photos were released by the National Transportation Safety Board and the plane itself was found approximately two miles offshore from Iwa Beach on the island of Oahu. When the plane went down, there were two crew members who would be rescued by the Coast Guard. The airplane itself was quite the discovery. Number 2. Underwater Dreamland Just as we've said before, there have been plenty of movies that have had lands and settings to take place on the water. Because the underwater world can be extraordinary even if you don't go down there, just taking a look can be breathtaking. Despite everything that crashes down there, it's still an amazing world to explore and learn about. Some people even say it's more interesting than land. We don't know about that, but we do know that there's enough reason for this next underwater dreamland to exist. It's an underwater museum that's fighting to rewild Cyprus seabeds. It comes off the coast of Cyprus and has a very unique museum. You're only allowed to enter if you have a snorkel on. It's the Aia Napa Museum of Underwater Sculptures. It's the brainchild of a sculptor who specifically built the museum to help biodiversity thrive in the area. There are about 93 works of art down there that are made from a combination of high-grade marine stainless steel and pH-neutral concrete. It helps to invite marine life to start growing on them, almost like an artificial reef. Now that's a museum that's helping the environment. Number 1. Shackleton's Long Lost Ship It wouldn't be a great list about the underwater world and the discoveries that come with it without talking about an interesting ship that went lost. Who doesn't love a story that feels like it's out of a fable book? This is why stories like Peter Pan and the Pirates of the Caribbean did so well with audiences, because it's just something about a lost ship that's intriguing. And this one is no different. It's got quite the personality to it. It's the wreck of Shackleton's endurance, though it's discovered in an icy Antarctica depths. Researchers had taken these stunning photographs of the century-old wreck, which is still in pretty good condition, about two miles beneath the water of the Waddell Sea. It's in even better shape than the Titanic. The team of researchers discovered the wreck after carrying out the Endurance 22 expedition. The researchers used submersibles to capture the images and take some videos of the shipwreck. It's now protected as a historic site and will remain undisturbed. Hey, at least we got some photos of it. So now we know that the ocean is as scary as it may seem. It's a lot more interesting than it is scary. You never quite know what discovery is going to come up from the bottom of the ocean. From down airplanes to skeletons to tea parties, it's a world that still has a lot to be discovered and we can't wait to see what gets discovered next. Because you know, we'll be right here to tell you all about it.